In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Canva for beginners. This video will explain everything that I think you need to know as a beginner to Canva. Now, the aim is at the end of this video, you'll be able to go ahead and tackle your own projects, whatever they are. So first you want to go to canva.com. From here, you can go ahead and create your free account. Once you've done that, you'll be taken to this homepage here. Now from here, we need to go ahead and create a project. Now Canva allows us to edit different projects, whether that be different social media designs, presentations, invitations. It allows us to also create videos. And I'm going to cover all of that in this video in a very simple, easy to follow way. So here on the left, you've got home. That's where we are now. You've also got templates and projects as well. These three are going to be especially useful for you. Any projects that you do create, you can go back to by clicking on projects and it will show you all of the projects you've made. First though, we need to really decide what is our goal with Canva and what exactly are we trying to create? You can go ahead and search for a template here if you've got one in mind. Let's say we wanted to create like a Facebook cover art. You can just type in Facebook cover and it will then show you all of these templates that you can use. So here are 15,000 Facebook cover art templates that you can use. You can go ahead and click see all and you can filter through these. Now Canva is great because they have a lot of free templates and you can edit from templates. You can also go ahead and click create a design and you can edit via their suggested templates here as well. Or you can edit from a custom size. So if you've got custom dimensions that you do want to create, that is great here. You can click custom size. You can create a design from scratch. For you though, what I would recommend you do is create from a template. So like I said, you can either go ahead and search for one. You can go to these buttons here. You can get suggested templates from Canva, or if you go to the templates button here on the left, you can then filter through, let's say social media templates and create whatever you need. For the video, we'll create, I guess, just an Instagram post. But again, you can create whatever is needed for your use case, right? So we are looking now at Instagram post templates. Now, one thing that I do recommend, if you're using the free Canva plan, go to all filters, then go ahead and scroll all the way down and filter for the free ones. It's just going to save you time. And you can see here, we went from 20,000 to 10,000. And now all of these, we can actually use and edit without having to pay. So that's just a quick tip. So now you can go ahead and choose obviously what template you want. Now, all of these are going to have different characteristics and different styles and you can choose one that matches your style you can also go ahead and filter through these say you want a specific style maybe you want a creative facebook post or a minimalist post or a bold post maybe you want to go ahead and change for a specific theme and a specific color and so on it looks like we've selected creative so we'll just run with that for the video now let's click on this one here now this happens to be a video and you can have video, you can have GIFs, you can also have still images. So actually we'll choose this one here because we can show you all of the features of Canva. So click on the one that you want, then go to customize this template and it will open up in a new tab. And if you're using Canva for the first time, don't get overwhelmed, it is really easy. I'll explain pretty much everything right now. So here is your design. Now, if you wanted to preview your design, you can go to this sliding tool here and you can zoom in and out. And obviously that's helpful if you're creating complex designs and you want to zoom in. Then if you go to the left, you've got different tabs that you can go ahead and interact with. And each of these offer different things. So we're on the design tab now and you can see we are using this template. But if at any point we wanted to change it, we could just go ahead and click on another template and it will switch to it. Now I want to go back to the original template and I've made a mistake. So we just obviously need to undo this. So to undo... It's control Z on the keyboard, or you can go to this undo tool in the top left and it will undo it. Now, notice when I hover over everything on Canva, you can see it highlights everything that we're hovering over. Now, these are all elements and everything that you see on this screen can be edited and changed. So let's start off by editing some text. So if we hover over this text, which says traveling packages, we can double click here and we can now edit this. So let me type out some text. I'll type here the perfect holiday. So we've typed out the perfect holiday. We can then go ahead and highlight this text. And here we've got the text box where we can change the font. So if we click on this, we can get all of these fonts and we can use all of these for free. We've got the recently used. You've got all of these other fonts, which you can go ahead and filter through. I'll just use this one for the video. Now notice how when we select that one, it is way too big. So we can go to the font size and we can go ahead and decrease this. Now everything is editable and everything really is intuitive and easy to use. So we've now resized this. 
Now let's say we wanted to click on this and move it. We can move and drag this wherever we want on the screen. You can see it kind of like snapping into place and that's great for obviously centering your designs and putting them where they need to be. You've got your color text tool here, bold, you've got the alignment, you've got list. And if you click on effects, you've got things like shadow and different background effects, different shape effects. Let's for the video add a shadow and we'll go ahead and scroll down. You can increase and decrease these sliders and they will obviously do different effects here. For the video, I'll just change the color of the shadow to black. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the transparency and increase the offset. So it just makes the kind of like shadow a bit bolder. Again, you've got all of these different colors and different effects that you can play around with. But I'm going to click off that for now because that's enough for this text. Now, let's say we don't want this text here. We can go ahead and click on it. And if we wanted to remove it, we could just click delete on the keyboard. And there you go, it's gone. So now let's talk about replacing images. So if your template has images, you can go ahead and replace these images with anything you want. Now we could click on the image and click delete, and that's obviously gonna delete the image, but if we just wanna replace it, you can go ahead and upload your own images or use images from Canva. And that's where these tabs are gonna come in useful. So the design tab, remember, is just gonna be to find templates really, and to find different styles. The elements tab, we can add elements and search for them. I'm gonna come onto that shortly. But for now, we want to go to the Uploads tab, and from here we can go ahead and upload our own images, our own video, and also our own audio, which we can add onto our project. So let's say we wanted to upload our own image, and we wanted to drag this on. Now here are all of the images that I've used in other projects, and I've already uploaded them because before I've just gone to Upload Files, and it saves all the images you've used. So because this image actually fits this project, I'm going to drag on this image of a beach. And there you go, you can see it snaps into place. Now Canva's really good at this, it's really intuitive, and it's really easy to edit. Again, if you wanted to upload any files, just click Upload Files, the File Explorer will open, and you can upload literally anything. Like here I have a barcode actually, so we'll go ahead and click on that, you can see it uploads the barcode straight away. Let's say we wanted to add this barcode, and you can see here how it snaps to into place. Obviously, that's a mistake, right? We don't want it to go there, so we can just undo this, and we can just kind of drag it on somewhere else. Make sure we've got it deselected, and then we can drag this onto the project. Okay, so now we've got it dragged on. You might have to find a place where it doesn't snap into place, but here is our barcode, which I'm just gonna add over here. Now, if it's being weird and it keeps snapping into a place that you don't want it, uh, I'm just gonna right click, and we're gonna go ahead and go to layer, and we're gonna bring it to the front, and for the video, we'll just put this down here. So now we've got some empty space here in the middle and you can see these are editable. Now these are free frames that you can also snap different pictures in. So if I wanted to snap this picture in, I could do. Now we could delete any one of these and you can see they are frames, right? But for the video, I'm gonna move them all. Now if I wanted to move them all, I can hold shift and click on each individual element and you can see it's going to highlight all of them. I can then group them and I can move them as a group and we can make these bigger or smaller. So let's put these over here. Now we've got more text that we can edit, but let's say we don't need any of this text. So let's just delete all of this, and we'll delete this book now button as well, as well as this text here, and we'll just have this QR code over here on the left. Okay, so there we go, we'll keep it as that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go to elements. Now in elements, you've got different shapes, you've got graphics, you've got stickers, photos, videos, and so on. Now, I never really go ahead and just filter through these just by scrolling. Realistically, you have an element in mind. So let's say you wanted to add an element of a beach. So let's say you wanted a beach graphic or something. You type in beach. You can then decide if you want a beach graphic, a beach photo, or a frame which is related to your query. You've also got more here. You've got like photos, videos, shapes, audio, frames, markups, and so on. We're going to add a beach graphic and any one with the crown icon is going to be a pro graphic but this here looks all right so we're going to add this just in the corner and there we go we'll add that to the corner okay so it's coming along and you can do this for anything and all of your recent used graphics and things that you've used recently will be here so i also have a tie flag which i mean we can add the tie flag if we wanted to there we go we'll add that there now obviously i'm not a canva master but i do know the basics and I hope you do too after this video. So now let's look at text. Now if you click on text, you can go ahead and search for fonts. But what I would do first is decide what kind of text you want. Do you want a heading, subheading, body text? Or do you want to use one of these kind of like graphics or these text styles here? 
Again, you can scroll through these. You can only use the free ones though if you've got the free plan. We'll choose this one here, this text glitch. Again, what I can do here is I can go ahead and edit the text. Now in this instance, the top text and the bottom text are different. So I'm going to put here, book your holiday. And I'm actually gonna highlight all of this and change the font because that is a terrible font. So there we go, we'll keep it as this and we'll actually bring the font size down again. Now with this glitch text, I actually don't need this. So I'm actually gonna get rid of it. So notice how both of these are grouped together. You move them as one. We just wanna ungroup it. And then once they're ungrouped, we can get rid of the glitch text. So let's go ahead and resize this and put this here. So now you've got obviously your post coming along. Now this depends obviously what you're creating and how good you want it to be. Obviously you have a vision in mind. You're trying to make that vision come to life. You've also got one last thing. If you go to apps, there are a bunch of different apps which you can go ahead and add. If you go to your apps or if you go to like AI powered or create something and just flick through these, you'll see what kind of apps they have. There's a lot of AI apps. You can create images with AI. You can enhance images. What else can you do here? You can, yeah, you've got like Image Dreamer, Colorize, Dream Face. You can do a lot of things with AI. And these apps, I do believe people can develop them and then upload them to Canva. So they are always adding new apps. Let's go to this one quick, Jen, and just try out one of these. Generate high quality images in seconds. So if you open these, again, these aren't made by Canva, I don't think but each of these apps has a different use case. So let's kind of generate an AI image. Let's generate here a long tail boat in the ocean with the sun setting behind it. Now, obviously I can't vouch for how good this is gonna be. We're gonna see live on camera, so let's see. So there we go, this is the AI image. That was actually a pretty good generated image. Again, we can add this if we wanted to. We can move this wherever we want. Obviously, you would take time with your design. Now, once you're happy with your design, you want to go to share in the top right hand corner. You can add people to collaborate and edit the design with you. But for most of you, you just want to get your design downloaded. So you'll go to download. You can download it mostly as a PNG if you're uploading it online up to socials. You can also download as a PDF if this is like a document that you're editing. But then go ahead and click download and it will start to download your file. And then here it is in the downloads. We can open it and there's no watermark, it's in high quality, just as we designed it. So that's pretty much all you need to do, and that's basically the basics of Canva. Now, I could go into more advanced details, but that's a general overview. You will really learn by doing, so go ahead and just try and create projects, and use your vision in your head, and try and get it on screen. I hope that helped. Any questions, put them in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one.